Hi guys, uh, this is the second podcast that I have with my really lovely mentor, Cynthia. Uh, would you like to introduce yourself again, please? And uh, about, to- talk about this center. Cynthia Kaufman, the director of VIDA, which is the Vasconcelos Institute for Democracy in Action at De Anza College. We train community organizers and uh, work on advocacy projects. So, uh, to be honest, I, I don't know what to say to not be so, I, I don't want to be radical like last time, you know, I, I did a lot of... I consider myself a radical, I have no problem with radicalism. Like, you know, but the last podcast that we had did a lot of, a lot of, uh, it made a lot of sound in Iran. Oh, yeah? I was like, yeah, I was being questioned for that inside of the government oh. by the Iranian intelligence. What were you talking about? You know, the level of democracy in Iran and Turkey and all that kind of stuff. Okay. Erdogan. Erdogan is the biggest partner for Iranian oil and mm-hmm. energy. So Iranian government needs him. Uh-huh. And he doesn't, they don't want me to talk bad about him and just... But unfortunately, Erdogan is doing a lot of damage to my university and my mm-hmm. professors in Istanbul. Um, one of my loved ones was arrested mm-hmm. for a period of six weeks and a lot of Kurdish students was mm-hmm. arrested. And I don't know, like, it's very hard for someone who had a lot of freedom in the land of America to go back and just deal with the social norm. That's not acceptable about the freedom of speech that we have here. Mm-hmm. Did you have any experience in any other country that you felt that you have to shut down everything and not say anything? Uh, Outside, maybe, maybe... Yeah. I don't want to name any countries, but like... Uh, I have traveled to Cuba, okay. which I... There's a lot of good things that happen in Cuba, but um, people are definitely careful what they say in public there. I would have conversations with people and you'd pick up a hitchhiker and you'd be talking in Spanish and having a great conversation about politics and then um, you'd stop and go to a restaurant and everybody would shut up and nobody would say a word. So I, I, I haven't lived it, lived it, but I've been around it. I don't know how you are going to respond to this question, but do you appreciate the freedom of speech that we have in America? I mean, nobody is going yeah. to come and terrorize us because we don't like the American government or yeah. the fact that I personally hate Trump. Yeah, yeah, no. And nobody's going to arrest. I mean, like, I was being arrested in the middle of the street of Tehran in front mm-hmm. of the old American embassy just because I said something about the current president, right. Mr. Rouhani. And for, like, two days I was being integrated just because I lived in America for 15, 16 years and right. I don't have a broken accent in Farsi. So, I mean, like... I have so many rights in this country and I don't like the government and like nobody is coming in that direction to take away that rights. Mm-hmm. Even if the fact that I'm not a citizen, hopefully I will be a citizen tomorrow. But when we are challenging everything, mm-hmm. Cynthia, do we have like a small place to be like, you know, to not take the rights that we have for granted? Oh. I completely agree with you. I really do. There are a lot of leftists, you know, and I consider myself a leftist, who don't believe in the sort of the liberal system that we have, and I think it's really important to protect it. I think it's super important to protect the rights that we have, and sort of the concept of rule of law, like you don't get to just arbitrarily do what you feel like doing. You actually have rules, and they apply the same to everybody, and that that's something to be fought for. Yeah, no, I'm, I'm all about those things. So, like... I don't know, when we have all of this conversation, especially about the undocumented students, always I get this feedback from you that you say you're looking down at them or like, could you open up about that? How should I talk about the people that I would like to protect and not having the problem that I have for seven, eight years in immigration court? How should I, how passionately I should talk about the people that I really would like to protect and I was, like I de- would dedicate myself to just those minorities to have a voice, and then when you say this, I feel like you know, I I, I feel like I have to be very censored myself around you. Mm-hmm. It's a complicated subject, but I would say the idea of you wanting to protect them is a little bit paternalistic. Why? 
Um, it's like, as if they need you, you know, like. And why? Malcolm X is my hero, Cynthia. It's right, Malcolm's Mal birthday on Sunday, by the way. He was shot by, by a person who was trying to fight for his right to have equality in this country. He was shot by two black, right, in New York. Right. You, why do you think Malcolm X switched his point of view to stop being a racist black? Mm -hmm. to fight for the equality among all of the races. Because he got a deeper analysis. At first his analysis was just nationalistic. It was, you know, at first the analysis he had was just, you know, simply that white people are bad and black people are good, something like that. And later his analysis became deeper and he understood the thing about sort of capitalism and imperialism and how all those things are related to racism and he had a deeper analysis which understood yeah, things in a more complicated way. And it was great. I mean, I think that his position at the end of his life was really good. And it was very similar to Martin Luther King's. You know that there's... Martin Luther King was... I don't know. I don't, I don't like he, him that much because he betrayed. He was... In my opinion, I'm sorry. I don't want to... He, he raped a lot of women. I don't like that. Uh, I don't think that he was accused of rape. I think he was accused of having affairs, which is different. I'm not saying it's good, but it's different. But anyway, and there's, I mean, there is no, no way that I'm protecting my comments because he's Muslim. Though I don't want, I'm not religious, uh, even if I'm fasting today. Mm -hmm. uh, the reason I'm telling all of this stuff is, uh, just give me a strategy to send this message to the DMZ students. Let's forget about the minorities and non-minorities. This is our campus. Mm -hmm. At least I feel that I belong to this campus. Mm -hmm. We have done so much for this campus. How should we take the role for the challenges that we have every single day? We have a safety challenge in this campus. We have a discrimination challenge. We have, and like, unlike me, people don't want to talk about it. So they carry that that anger, that hate, and they take them to the other side. They take them and they transfer from here. And what I so would say would is you, that how would you give me in communication tools? Because that's exactly the same problem I have in Iran when I was talking about my own ethnicity, Turkmens. Mm -hmm. They don't want to take responsibility for it. So defecting their rights. So uh, my advice to you about that would be to pick something small, concrete, and winnable and focus on it because the world is full of a, an infinite number of terrible things. And when I hear you talk about it, you often sort of bounce from one terrible thing to another terrible thing. And, and I spend my whole life trying to find those places where I can be effective and where I can spend the time that I have with students to help them to be effective to make a difference. And there's all kinds of millions of people in this world who are doing really important work to make the world better, to solve problems. But you solve them one at a time with hard work. Maybe maybe just somehow solving the problem is not the case, but just having the courage to say this is a problem, that's a bigger role. I mean, like, at, least, at least maybe I have a bias about this. Mm -hmm. Whatever Iran is dealing with right now is a global issue. Mm -hmm. True. I mean, like, the fact that I'm Iranian, I know that we have to I'm going to end soon, yeah. Yeah, uh, the fact that I'm Iranian, mm -hmm. the fact that I live in Turkey for uh, seven years, the fact that I traveled to Turkey for the last three years, mm -hmm. the fact that America wants to go war with Iran, mm -hmm. the fact that the sanction that Trump is trying to implement are affecting a lot of lives. A lot of people are dying right. because there is no medical right. sources for Iranians, and it's become a monopoly of the government to just you know bring the fake medicine from China and kill mm -hmm. the innocent people like my mom. Mm -hmm. How should we just say, okay, let's just consider about the small problems that we have. Let's just tackle. The fact that there are a lot of Turkmens in the prison of my region the and they are mis mistreated, they are being raped as a male on those prisons. And just say, okay, let's just focus on this, don't make any noise about it, 
and just when times come, we are gonna go to the bigger problem. Uh, I mean, for God's sake, I mean, I, in the middle, in the middle of this, this stumble, there's a there's a possibility that I will be shot by the support of the Erdogan. That country is going through a civil war, and the election that we are having in the June will. I am really scared about it, and like. Yeah. Nobody wants to talk about it because I'm just a regular citizen who doesn't have any voice and I have to just deal with the small problems when I see a lot of corruption. I mean like We have senators in this country who are doing illegal trade to Iran mm -hmm. through Turkey. I know about it So I think there is an illegal I, mean, I just want to just give okay, this two so minutes. I'm just gonna go on and on and on. No, right? I'm sorry. And, you know, so yeah, it's frustrating. Social change is frustrating. And you accomplish nothing when you just jump from thing to thing. You accomplish nothing. And so I'm not saying make your dreams small. I'm not saying make your dreams small. But what I am saying, what I do to make myself sane in this world that makes me insane, is I feel like I'm a part of a team of millions of people doing serious and significant work to make the world a better place. I've got my little pieces that I do. They're doing their pieces. So you don't say like, oh, I don't care about that other problem because I'm working on this one. No, you do the work you do and you try to make it as effective as possible. It's not about asking you to make it small. It's about asking you to make it effective. And it's hard to be effective. Is that okay if I show that picture in the camera or you don't want to um, do with that? It's, it's, it's the last item, okay. Uh, I think for like 20 years we didn't have any school shooting in Genza. That's a very good record. Cynthia, did you ever think about it? Uh, I mean, there are parameters for the safety at that fact. Yeah, I think that's... And like... And I hope it doesn't happen. And we did, so have, a, we we did have a threat since I've been here and it was terrible, right? Somebody, somebody wanted to blow up this school. In 2001, I know that. Yeah. But like, this is a very good clean record that we didn't have school shooting for a long time. And Maybe there are some people who don't like tenure or who don't like the Middle Eastern, but they are doing the right thing to have that safety, and at least I should appreciate it. And so now you're so now you're talking about the appreciation for the police. Is that what you're saying? No, I'm saying like um, I am saying that I. Uh, I'm going to my uh, citizenship interview tomorrow, and that's the last step of my immigration process. And I'm scared to be get arrested there. Yeah. And like the whole thing that I fight hard to uh, enroll, and this is the last thing that I'm gonna say, enroll scared conservative people like my father to say and come up and just share their frustration without going around feeling themselves guilty or just mm -hmm. thinking of inside that's that's really, really bothers me a lot that i cannot enroll people to say okay even if you are undocumented you have so many rights mm -hmm. in this campus in this country that even so many minorities in iran doesn't have like right. the iranian government is gonna deport a lot of Afghanis from my country mm -hmm. and these people were born in my country they, right like and they can do it they can shit them out so tell you, I, I feel how much frustration you have and I, and I really hope your citizenship thing goes well tomorrow I really do I really do and 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 I really want you to find that place where you can of all the things which are so upsetting to you in the world and they're upsetting to me too you find that one that you're going to be able to be effective on that's what I want for you. Do you think we we'll get there? No. I have no idea. I have no idea. All right. Okay. Thank you. And Thank what's you. with the square? Uh, it's part of a uh, branding. I didn't want them to be part of this. So they are oh, oh, you yeah. said your T-shirt. Got yeah. it. Yeah.